Chapter 7 Everyone returned to their dorms where there was still a lot of giggling going on about what they had just witnessed downstairs. Taylor was downstairs coming to terms with what had just happened. All those years of her establishing herself as the school bully were now over. She knew the only option for her now was probably to move schools where she wouldn't be tormented for her diapers. Back upstairs, Sammy thought to herself, I don't know how Chelsea can sit there laughing about Taylor's diaper problem when she has the same issue herself. Sammy was thinking that Chelsea must have just got lucky last night to not have wet the bed without a diaper on. Hopefully tonight she will wet the bed and everyone will see her for the diaper-wearing bedwetter she is. As the day went on, Taylor was tormented badly by everyone. One girl who Taylor had bullied in the past went up to her and pulled down her jeans and said to Taylor, Where's your diaper, you big baby? You don't want to have any more accidents now, do you? This set Taylor off crying again, which everyone laughed at. In the evening, people were starting to get ready for bed. Chelsea took her pajamas with her and went into the communal bathroom to get changed. She checked to find that her diaper was still hidden under the back of the toilet. She diapered herself, put her PJs on, and went back to her dorm. Sammy thought to just check that Chelsea hadn't found her diapers, which she hid from her in the dorm bathroom under the sink. Sammy went into the bathroom, locking the door behind her. She reached under the sink, pulling out the diapers. She counted one, two, three. They were all still there, meaning Chelsea would likely wake up wet in the morning, Sammy thought. At the same time, Taylor was getting ready for bed. Searching through her bag, she found her diapers had been taken, which she half expected, really. She got herself ready for bed, conceding that should she wet the bed as she usually did, she would have to deal with the abuse she would get from everyone. She got a few comments from people like, hope you're wearing your bedwetting diaper, and show us your diaper, baby. All the dorms settled down for the night, and before long, everyone had drifted off to sleep. Taylor awoke at 2 a.m. and found she had soaked the bed. She felt really uncomfortable as she wasn't used to anything other than a wet diaper. She knew there was nothing she could do about it, so she just tried to get back to sleep, which she eventually managed. When she woke up in the morning, her covers had been pulled off her and a crowd had gathered around her bed. She soon realized she must have wet the bed twice, as she was even more soaked than when she woke up the first time. She was taunted about it by everyone who stood around the bed, and pictures were taken again which were uploaded to her Facebook page. Back in the other dorm where Sammy and Chelsea were staying, Sammy woke up. She was again excited to hopefully find that Chelsea had wet the bed, and yet again she was disappointed to find, as Chelsea got up, that her bed was dry. She couldn't work out how she had managed two dry nights without her diaper. Sammy decided that as her plan to expose Chelsea's diaper secret had failed, she'd wait for another good opportunity to arise rather than just spread a rumor about it. After breakfast, Chelsea walked into the bathroom to get ready. She was very conscious that the diaper she was wearing did seem a bit louder than her normal ones. She untaped the sagging wet diaper, rolled it up, and stuffed it into the gap under the back of the toilet where she knew no one would find it until she had long gone. Very soon, it was time to get the coach back home, which put an end to an eventful trip, which Chelsea was glad had ended, really. When Chelsea returned to school the next day, she discovered that following the humiliation Taylor had been through, she had decided to leave the school and her family planned on moving away to another area. For some reason, Chelsea felt really satisfied that she had a part to play in this happening. Taylor Smith was the main topic all day at school. People found it so funny that she wore diapers. They just couldn't believe an 18-year-old still wets the bed. Videos of Taylor crying and messing her diaper were being played all around the school. Even the younger students who didn't know her were laughing about it. That evening, Chelsea had been sat chatting and watching TV with the family, but it was finally time to get ready for bed. Chelsea discreetly diapered herself like she did every night to try and prevent Tina from discovering her problem. 
She headed straight for bed after getting changed, and it didn't take her long to drift off to sleep. Tina awoke in the middle of the night and needed to pee. She slowly got up and walked towards the hallway. Just as she was in her bedroom doorway, she watched as Chelsea darted out of her room and into the bathroom. There was no way Chelsea had seen Tina as Tina was stood in the darkness of her room and Chelsea seemed too preoccupied with making it to the bathroom. Tina made her way to the bathroom door and because it was at night, there was no background noise. So she put her head right up against the bathroom door and listened. She was very surprised as she could hear a plastic rustling noise and then what sounded like a plastic untaping noise. She then heard Chelsea relieve herself as she could hear pee hit the toilet. When the peeing stopped, she again heard some rustling and a taping sound. Tina then hid in the shadowed corner of the hallway as her sister came back out of the bathroom. She observed her sister closely but struggled to hear anything really. Tina then used the bathroom herself and then went back to bed. Chelsea was lying in her bed after having just come back from the bathroom. She had woken up desperate to pee and had just managed to make it to the bathroom in time without using her diaper. It was a very hot night, so Chelsea decided to take her pajama pants off for the rest of the night in the hope of getting a good sleep for the rest of the night. Tina couldn't get back to sleep. She was lying in her bed thinking about what that noise could have been she had heard when Chelsea used the bathroom. She waited a little while and got up. She tiptoed her way to Chelsea's room, gently opening the door. She could hear Chelsea was asleep by the way she was breathing. She slowly walked up to her bed, gently pulling the covers back, revealing her sister lying on her chest, with her nightshirt covering her to just below her waist. In the darkness, she could just make out something white sticking out of the bottom of her nightshirt. Tina pulled the shirt up, fully revealing that Chelsea was wearing a thick adult diaper. She closely examined it, feeling how thick and crinkly it was, whilst having a big grin on her face. She could not believe her eyes as she struggled to contain her excitement at this discovery. She couldn't believe after all this time that her big sister was a bedwetter. This was the moment she dreamed about. She took her phone out and took a couple of photos of her diapered big sister. She risked waking her up by leaving the flash on. The whole time, Tina couldn't hold back an evil smile from her face. She pulled the covers back over Chelsea and headed to bed. She thought hard about what to do about her sister's diaper secret. In the morning, Tina had to check the photos on her phone to make sure that what she discovered last night wasn't just a dream. Sure enough, the pictures showed clearly that her sister was diapered. In the morning at breakfast, Chelsea noticed Tina seemed unusually happy about something. What are you so happy about this morning then, Tina? Oh, nothing, Chels. Over the course of the day, Tina devised a plan for her sister. She ordered a few things online, which had arrived a couple of days later. It was nearly supper time, and Mum was laying out the table ready. Everyone always sat in the same place, and Mum always put a glass of water on the table for everyone. Tina was ready to put her plan into action. When she had the chance, she slipped some diuretics into Chelsea's drink. Soon after, everyone sat down for supper in their usual places. By the time they had finished the meal, Chelsea had drank her whole glass of water. Later that evening, Chelsea and Tina were watching TV when Chelsea quickly got up and ran to the bathroom. My plan is working, Tina thought to herself. Tina planned to make her sister need diapers day and night before exposing her. When Chelsea came back from the bathroom, Tina asked, You didn't have an accident, did you, Chelsea? It looked like you were about to pee yourself. Shut your mouth, Tina. I made it easily. I think you need diapers if your bladder is that weak. You keep nearly wetting your pants, but I don't know if they make them in your size, Tina said laughing. You actually think you're funny, don't you? What are you on about anyway? I've hardly ever been as desperate as that to get to the loo. Yeah, I believe you. What about the other night? I was just coming out of my room and you came running across the hallway into the bathroom. 
were so desperate you must have nearly wet the bed. 